Greetings, Prophecy Donation. I am here at the stadium, actually just heading out now. Um, already getting pretty hot, it's about a quarter to noon. Uh, but just finished watching the scrimmage. I know a lot of you guys have probably watched or here also at the scrimmage, by the way. Uh, shout out to the few people who came up to say hi and say what's up. Thank you for that, appreciate it. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, just wanted to give my, my thoughts on what I saw. And there was a lot of game situation kind of stuff. Um, you know, very scripted, very vanilla. So, you know, you gotta kind of take what you see with a grain of salt, not get too excited and not be like, oh my God, that looked terrible. Yeah, you gotta kind of temper your emotions a little bit when you see these things. But I will say people who popped to me, um, first one, out of the gate, AJ out. I I told you, AJ, I, I was telling you guys like two months ago when we started looking at, you know, looking at the fall and look at the potential depth charts and who might flash. Listen, AJ Allen, I'm telling you as far as game ready, as far as experience, he might be the best option to start right now. And let me tell you, today he popped. Um, he had a couple of really nice runs. Um, Mark Fletcher as well, he popped. He uh, had a nice touchdown run early in the scrimmage that Inez Cooper and Matt Lee just bulldozed a hole wide open on the right side of the O-line and went through to the second level and scored. Um, yeah, Fletcher, even for as big as he is, looks like a very smooth runner. Looks... Uh, looks quick he looks deceptively fast he's a long strider and I saw that hole open up and I was like yeah that's what uh that's what 66340 does for you Inez Cooper just sealing that off um TVD looked you know solid he looked like TVD um only negative I'll point out and again I think this is I saw this in the spring I think this is a result of he knows he's not getting hit in these things so he's gonna take that extra second or two where you know, he gets touched, it's probably a sack, but he'll take that extra second and try to force something in sometimes. This isn't a game situation. It's not quite the same. So I'll reserve my judgment until I see him in a game. But, you know, the times where he sat back there, the play developed as planned. He ripped that ball in there accurately. The arm strength was there. Um, he threw a dime, an absolute dime to, uh, to Jacoby, uh, Jacoby George early in the game like sideline to, or hash mark to sideline, uh, which is one of the, one of if not the hardest throws to make. And he dropped it in there perfectly, perfect touch. He hit another bomb to Xavier Restrepo. Restrepo made a diving catch, it was nice. That was probably the biggest crowd uh, reaction of the game, or of the scrimmage. Ruben Bain, again, doing Ruben Bain things. He was uh, super disruptive. Um, he was the only, the only time where I saw Jalen Rivers you know, struggle a little bit at left tackle was going up against him, honestly. Aside from that, I thought Rivers looked pretty good. I thought the starting O-line of Rivers, Cohen, Lee, Cooper, and Maui Goa uh, looked solid. You know, if that's who we roll out, if they stay healthy, I'm good. That's a very solid O-line with a lot of size. Speaking of size, Matthew McCoy, Tommy Kinsler. Uh, I mean, those are enormous human beings, especially Tommy Kinsler. I mean, wow. Uh, McCoy, you know, show me something on the old line. He looks, he looked pretty good today. Um, you know, I, it was the first time I really paid close attention to him. He's healthy now. Um, you know, first, first time paying close attention to him in a practice or, or a scrimmage situation. I mean, and he, I like what I saw and he's versatile. He played it inside a little bit, you know, they move him around. I liked it. Um, let's see what else can I comment on? Um, drops. There were some drops. Um, Really not from guys that are like the starting lineup guys like, you know, Kobe, Jacoby, X, you know, they made their catches. Uh, the, the drops really were from like a couple by the running backs, a couple by the tight ends coming out of the flat, uh, wide receiver screens where, you know, it's that quick little one read and it's, you zip it in there, a couple drops there, um, you know, you got to keep, continue working on cleaning that up. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, there, there was those handful of guys that I mentioned that really flashed today. Uh, again, A.J. Allen, Ruben Bain, um, Ahmad Moten made a nice play uh, on defense on a screen. Um, 
Maui Goa made a couple of nice plays sideline to sideline. Uh, I mean, Francisco, the older brother. But, you know, really, you know, some stuff you got to clean up, obviously. There's still a couple weeks left of conditioning before they get into prep for Miami of Ohio. But, uh, you know, I, I really saw them. I really saw a lot of competing and then getting after it, especially my last comment will be on the defense just in general. You can really see uh, Lance Guidry's kind of identity in this defense already. Very aggressive, a lot of blitzes. And since a lot of this is scripted, they put him in situations where it's a lot, you know, basically Cristobal wanting to put the offense and TVD and Emery and all the quarterbacks and everything in uncomfortable situations. They did that. Sometimes, you know, they executed and made a play. Uh, other times, the defense got to him, got a sack. Uh, there were like one or two. There were there were a couple of interceptions. Um, you know, uh, off the top of my head, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, Andy Borregales. I'll just make this one comment. Um, when you're kicking a 50-plus yard field goal and the ball is still hitting like not barely making it over, but, but hitting the middle of the net and bending the net backwards. That's how you know, you know, that, that, that kid's ready to not just, you know, be a Lou Groza award watch list guy, but also maybe kick on Sundays one day. Andy Borregales really added some power to his kicks in the offseason, and he's he's going to hit that next level. I, I made the prediction that he will, you know, he'll, he could be an All-American. That was that was kind of my 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 hot take on the on the Miami Mayhem show that Andy Borgales will be an All American. Let's see what happens. Uh, he certainly has the look of an All American kicker. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Go Canes! I'm gonna go head home, get some rest, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care.